If you read mainstream media or watch mainstream TV news like BBC, ITV, Sky or mainstream radio, you're not getting the facts. You're getting some facts, but not nearly all of the facts. And I'm speaking as a mainstream journalist here. If I were you, if you're going to read or listen to or watch mainstream media, you need to read and listen and watch some alternative media as well in order to get a bit of a better view of what's actually happening. So if you're watching BBC News or Sky News or Channel 4 News, I recommend that you also have a look at GB News and Talk TV and certainly UK Column. And then, you know, if you're having a look at newspapers like The Times, The Mirror, The Guardian, Telegraph, you also ought to be looking at dailyskeptic.org, Off Guardian, again, UK Column, um, oh, and The Light Paper, BBC hates The Light Paper almost as much as it hates GB News, so it's definitely worth having a look at those. And also, there are quite a lot of really useful substacks at the moment, including one of mine, which is News Uncut. So if you want to get a balanced view of things, you really do have to do the two. It used to be that you'd have the left-wing media and the right-wing media, and you'd have a look at both of those to get a sort of a general, you know, balanced view of things. That's not the case anymore. Nowadays, it's mainstream media and alternative media. You need to look at both if you want to get a balanced sense of what's really happening.